Hey guys, well this is going to be a sketchbook tour finally, so let's just jump straight into it and see what we got. The cover has a lot of stickers I've been collecting from over the years. So the first few pages, I want to say like the first four pages are like from 2013, so a long time ago. But I, w I obviously didn't complete the sketchbook until now, so I decided to jump straight in again with this book. So, first actual sketch of 2017 is Marie from Splatoon. After that, we got sketches of a eh, comic idea that I was just bored, so I just drew Yu-Gi-Oh! based idea. And that was just pretty hectic, but it was kind of fun drawing this one. Just, you know, just sketching. <laughs> then, with Copic markers, I drew a Pepsi can because I was drinking Pepsi at the time and it was on my desk. This is my original character hanging out with uh, Yugi because I got bored. <laughs> uh, Lantern Man is my other original character talking to one of my other original characters. I drew Cappy and Mario when it was announced Mario Odyssey was going to be on the Switch. Callie because it, she's just fun to draw. Uh, Kaiba, Pegasus, and Yugi were the three cosplays I chose to wear AX. This was a fun little story of me walking around with a friend of mine at, you know, Pokemon Go stories. They get interesting. Corefish doing Bubble Beam. Blastoise done in color pencil. Yeah, that's all color pencil. That 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 took a long time to do, but it was so cool to see. These two pages plus the other pages were all done by other artists at Anime Expo. I just told them to draw anything Yu-Gi-Oh oriented and they all did a really fun job. This was a drawing I did of one of my friends who cosplayed from JoJo's Bazaar. It was done in pencil. This was a fun little yokai watch based comic I did because I was getting back a little bit into the anime. It, it's such a cheesy anime, but it's so funny. But I'm gonna s just, yeah, it was fun. Good, good fandom, a little bit, but yeah. Fun comic I did for fun. That's another yokai watch character. I forgot her name because they never released her in the States. This was done for an art trade with a friend of mine. This is her character, not mine. Arcana from the Yu-Gi-Oh! series because I was playing Duel Links and his event was out and about in Duel Links. Marie from Splatoon because Callie and Marie are like the best squid sisters you can find. Guile from Street Fighter because why not? I never drew the guy so I was like making an attempt to try. This was also for another art trade. I do a lot of art trades, I'm gonna admit that. But this was Whisper in his space outfit from Yokai Watch. Bunch of sketches of my character hanging out with the Yokai Watch character, because why not? The one with the girl doing the little rock and roll sign is done for one of my friends as an art trade. Pokemon, next three. The one with Rowlet is probably one of my favorites because I really like drawing night scenes. Really like drawing night scenes. They're quite fun to do. All done in Copics, of course. This is pretty much exactly what I look like today in age. Hair up out in city of LA so yeah trash dove I cannot deny trash dove cuz it's trash dove I was looking at the stickers from Facebook so yeah another yokai watch little drawing uh, pumpkins and watermelons it's a little transition from summer to fall so it was kind of fun to do that David Tennant's character of the 10th Doctor from Doctor Who. I did it more of a comic based style, so that was kind of fun. 
I had to draw Luigi in like an anime style because I was curious to see what would happen. And I liked it. It's still one of my favorites. Very cutesy. Then I just never got a chance to outline this, but it's basically like Splatoon based because I was thinking Splatoon. Three Splatoon characters and D.Va from Overwatch because Overwatch. A list of all the things I was going to do for Inktober, then I stopped like halfway. So this is first day of Inktober. Second day of Inktober. All done in Copic markers, by the way. Not for Inktober, just just for fun. Me and my work uniform, cause why not? I think this is second, no third day of uh, Inktober. Fourth day of Inktober. Fifth day of Inktober. Sixth day of Inktober. Seventh day of Inktober. Eighth day, I think from the ninth day I did the rest on my laptop because Photoshop it was easier. But yeah, this will be the last day in my sketchbook. <laughs> I drew my brother, but not very well, so I want to redraw that for sure, see if I could improve on it. Drew this with Copic markers, white gel pen, and color pencil because, eh, wanted to do something different. It was very fun making that one. Fun little story of my character with Mario Brothers, because why not? Just, just for fun, you know? Same thing, it was a continuation of the story, but wanted to try also different colors. A bunch of Bowser drawings because I was doing a Mario Odyssey based picture and I did not know how to draw Bowser, so that was an interesting challenge, I'm gonna admit. Some doodles when I was watching movies. Another little rough idea for a one punch man picture that i have in my portfolio because perspective my original character just out in the dark forest in her kimono looking dress bunch of expressions of my character because expressions are quite fun to draw Just some really, really late night drawings because I couldn't sleep, so I just drew whatever popped into my head. And some more fun sketches of my characters. Inkling form and her normal form. Because why not? This was interesting. I just drew a random wish with her toucan. And then after learning of you know quick small thing of a toucan I decided to actually go back and do an actual page study of actual toucans quite interesting creatures I'm gonna admit that very bright and colorful I really like how that eye turned out though really like that went to Starbucks sat down drew whatever was in front of me an apple my water bottle a pencil and my phone had some fun using watercolor because watercolor is Interesting challenge, I'm gonna admit that, but definitely fun to use. Interesting medium. Some of my original characters you're gonna see. So this is a fun sheet of my original character in different poses. Another character of mine, his name is Kagayaki, which means glow in Japanese. So, he's a lantern man. I like my lantern man. And then I just drew Mario because I, I wanted to just draw Mario. I don't know why. Just just because. And then I drew some surfer dudes because, you know, never hurts you to learn other poses and draw anatomy. So definitely fun trying to draw surfing. A little bit challenging. So good try. Very good try. Then I drew Luigi because... 
Mario and Luigi. I, I, I cannot separate them. I really can't. Definitely an interesting duo to draw. Very interesting duo. Then I drew Pearl from Splatoon 2. I never drew her before, She's so she was an interesting attempt. Then a friend of mine and I were watching Captain Underpants on Netflix, so I drew some of the characters from there. Fun movie. I like the music. One minute poses, I was doing some quick sketching. I found a interesting website that lets me do that. Callie again, but also I drew her in her evil form from the second game because I, I just love that form. It's too cool. Writing notes for Pokemon team, then ended up drawing Blastoise and Mimikyu. Not a very good Blastoise, but it's Blastoise enough right now. <laughs> uh, I drew Looker from Pokemon because I really like that character. He's one of my favorites as well. So I just did a bunch of Looker faces. This is from a video I did here on YouTube. I forgot what it was about, but I'll put a link somewhere about it. This was my uh, character getting kissed by Yugi because roleplay story, but the quote I found online because it just matched the whole scenario really well. This was for the World in a Bottle challenge, the unofficial one I did here on YouTube about inspiration, so yeah. Drew my character as a chibi jumping out of the Mario series games because she was just, she needed more love for me. This is my character again, Kagayaki, looking into the dark forest that is full of a galaxy look, all done in color pencil. A uh, character sheet of my original character named Lady. Yeah, that's the one you keep seeing a lot. And then the next one is going to be a page of my other character, Kagayaki, with different expressions, a side view, and what he looks like. So he was fun to draw. Then I just drew another character that appeared in my dreams. So he was definitely interesting. Drew myself again as a Pokemon trainer in the actual Pokemon art style. And then the last one I had to promise myself to draw was a uh, little Yugi from the Yu-Gi-Oh series from the final quote he mentioned in the manga and the anime, which honestly still stands out to this day. And obviously my writing is beyond messy, so yeah, definitely fun little project. But yeah, that's a complete sketch tour of my sketchbook. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys next time.